Hey, what's up, my people? How are you guys doing today? I want to say compliment of the season to you all today. It's a season of Christmas, a season of love and share. In this spirit, I bring to you this lecture on how to bypass Windows password without formatting or losing your data. If for any reason you have forgotten your Windows password and the next thing you're thinking of how to format your system, then this video is for you. I want to make a disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes. It's not to go to any PC you see and begin to bypass the password. Okay, so if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I want to say use this opportunity and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we drop our video three times a week. You'll be one of the first persons to benefit on this video. We drop IT issues, related issues, maintenance and repairs, and IT updates. Okay, on technology. Okay, please thank you to our existing subscriber. I want to say thank you all for making us get to this point. So, without further ado, let's dive into this lecture. Okay, this is the first time I'm putting it again. I'm putting it for the second time. And the first thing you need to do is to insert in your bootable flash drive. If you don't know how to insert a creative bootable flash drive, you can check the right video description below or on top of your screen. You can see how to create a bootable flash drive. So first thing we need to do again is to go to Google and download Hiring Bootable USB. Once we click on Hiring Bootable USB, you see the first option there, Hiring Bootable. So we go to Download. Let me increase this. Go to download. Go to download and download down the ISO file, the hiring bootable ISO file. So scroll down at the bottom, then you see the HBCDPE. That's the ISO file. So click on download. Once you click on it, you start downloading. It's an ISO file. This particular file is like three, almost three gig. So I'm not downloading it because I already have it downloaded. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. I'm going to cancel it now. So I'm going to locate it on the folder where I downloaded it on my PC. So that is what I'm going to do right away. So on the folder where I downloaded it on my PC, like I said, I already downloaded it. So I'm going to locate it on my standard drive. Now this is a particular file, the iOS file. All you need to do is to what, double click on it. It takes like 30 seconds to open or if less. So click on open. So these are the folders, files and folder inside that particular ISO file. So all you need to do is to copy it and paste it inside your bootable flash drive. If you don't know how to create a bootable flash drive, please check the description link below. So this is my bootable flash drive. I already have it inside. So just paste it on, paste it on it. So like I'm saying, I'm doing this process for educational purposes. Okay, it's like I paste on it. You see, then it replace files and folder. So there's no need. So the next thing we need to do is to what is to restart our PC and put into the USB the bootable flash drive. Okay, then it will take us to uh, a sub operating system that is created inside a flash drive. Okay, so let's restart the PC so that we can boot into our US uh, bootable flash drive. So this is my bootable flash drive on the second mission. So I'll click on enter. Then it will take like a minute to load. Okay, I just fast forwarded this video. Okay, so now it's entering the sub operating system. You can see the hiring bootable. So this is a particular operating system. This is not the original operating system that you're working. I was working with. So click on software. Then click on security. Then click on password. And click on open so choose your username exactly my is creative studio i'm going to click on it and i said change password now so i'm putting a new password i can see i'm putting a new password once i'm putting a new password now i'm done putting this password i'll click on save okay and save changes and exit once i'm done i'll restart my pc that's all you need to do now I have successfully changed my password for my PC, my forgotten password. Okay, so it will boot normally to the Windows environments. So I'm going to put in the new password. I'm putting in the new password. And let's see if it's open. Let me put in the new password. You see my PC is up and running. Okay, if you find this video helpful, please share and subscribe, like, comment on the comment section, which would have to so you like us to create a video about okay don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and see you in my next video bye